Okay, we're going to go ahead and draw isocirc number two. And we know that this has a width of one and a half. But this drawing also has a length of four and a height of 2.5. The reason we know that is the distance from here to here is 2.75. And we know that the radius of this half circle is 1.25. So if you add this number plus this number, you should get a total length of four inches. So the length is four. And the reason we know this is an two and a half inches tall is because once again the radius from the center of this circle to either the top or bottom is 1.25. So if that's 1.25 and that's 1.25 then this is an overall height of 2.5. So as we always do, we're gonna hit R for rectangle. Click once at the origin. Move away type in 4 comma 1.5 hit enter P for push pull click once release your mouse move up type in 2.5 okay so with this one I'm gonna once again go back to my front view here I'm gonna zoom in and the only reference I'm gonna put in is a guide mark that is 2.75 inches on the bottom left hand corner of that front view. There's going to be a mark that's going to appear right here. So I'm going to hit T for tape measure. I'm going to click once here. I'm going to move away from that point. And I'm just going to type in 2.75 and hit enter. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and use the arc tool. So I'm going to hit A for arc. And arc is a three point um, process. So I'm going to click once here. That's my guide point. I'm going to move straight up, make sure I have a nice blue line. I'm going to click a second time on the opposite edge. And then I'm going to move over here and I should start to see a blue circle appear. You can notice if I move over here or here, it kind of automatically finds that half circle. Once you see the words half circle appear, click a third time. I do a little bit of an orbit push-pull. I'm going to get rid of these corners. There's one. There's two. Okay, I'm going to go back to my front view. I'm going to hit C for circle. And we're going to find the center of this circle without using any guides. Let me show you how we do that. So I'm actually going to take this tool and I'm just going to not click, I'm just going to touch this point here. And sometimes you can move up and it'll find center. Now let's say it doesn't work. Another thing you can do is you could hover over here. And this is basically where we um, click that third time when we made the arc. So don't click, just hover, okay, and just move away from that point. And boom, once again it found center. Okay, so there's different ways to find the center of a point or of a line or of a reference. So I'm going to go ahead and click once here. Now what's interesting, actually let me go back to the drawing real quick. What's interesting about this drawing is you'll notice it says 0 slash 1. This is a um, symbol used to um, refer to diameter, whereas over here you can see R1 for radius. This is diameter 1. And since it's asking for the diameter, we go back to center here. Let me click. If the diameter is 1, then the radius would be 0.5. Let me go ahead and do a slight rotation. P for push pull. And when I push pull, I'm actually going to click once and release my mouse button. And I'm going to go back until I find this edge here, this back edge. And you can click anywhere along this edge. Let me click. And you should notice a hole going right through the object. Once again, rotate it so it's isometric before you move on to the next drawing. And save your work.